Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to break down how to use one of the world's most popular crypto exchanges, Bybit. We're going to go through all the key details about how to get yourself set up with an account, how to get it secure, how to trade spot and derivatives and the basics, and how to place an order. So if you're new to cryptocurrency, you've never used an exchange before, you're not sure how to get started, this is the video for you. Let's get straight into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get yourself set up with an account. Now you can use my exclusive link in the description to claim yourself up to $30,000 in bonuses. Once you get yourself set up, you will land into Bybit. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and get yourself set up with some two-factor security authentication. So head over into your profile top right corner, click your head, little head here, go to account and security, and now get yourself set up. Get yourself set up, self set up with email authentication, get yourself set up with SMS, and even get yourself set up with another form such as a Google two-factor authentication as well. Very, very important. Now, whilst you're here, you can also set a a fund password. Now a fund password is going to be used anytime someone tries to withdraw, they need to as an extra security step into this fund password as well. So definitely get that set up. Now if you scroll a little bit further down, you will notice a section called withdraw or security. Now in here, what you can do is set a whitelist, super useful feature here, guys. So for example, if you find yourself uh, sending to a few people regularly, let's say, I don't know you're paying some team members or you do some regular transfers between your accounts, you can go ahead and whitelist those addresses. So you can go ahead and that's going to make it a little bit more seamless for you to send money to those accounts. Okay, so definitely go get that set up as well. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is because you've got this account now, you have no money on it, right? You have no crypto, you're going to need to get some funds or crypto onto Bybit. So go ahead here, hover over buy crypto at the top, and you'll see a few different options which we'll go through. One click buy, P2P, fiat deposit, or crypto deposit. Let's start with one click buy. So when you go ahead and click one click buy, this allows you to buy fiat currencies instantly, okay? And, and use fiat currency to buy your crypto. So when you click on one click buy, straight away you're gonna come to this page where you can go ahead and spend fiat currency to receive crypto. Now, of course, you can buy a stable coin such as USDT, or you can go straight into Bitcoin, right? You can swap your fiat currency. Let's say you're doing US dollar. You can do that straight into Bitcoin. So straight away here, and I'll just move myself to the side here. So straight away, you can say, okay, I want to spend $1,000 and I'm going to get this much Bitcoin. And then you're going to look for your payment methods. So if you already have fiat in your Bybit account, then you can go ahead and use your USDC, USD balance. If not, you can use Apple Pay, you can use a bank card, you can use Google Pay, or you can use one of these other third-party providers as well. So definitely check this out. You've got MoonPay, you've got Banksa, you've got Mercuro. Depends what platform you're on and what country and jurisdiction you're on. But definitely a bunch of different methods for you to get fiat currency on and to buy yourself a bit of crypto. Now, equally, you can sell. Just hit sell here, and you can do the same thing. You can sell your... Uh, your fiat currency or your crypto back into fiat. So you can go, okay, I want to sell, sell one Bitcoin back into uh, the the uh, GBP or into USD, and that, that'll go straight into your account. So that's your first step done. Now, there are a few other options, right? You may want to just deposit fiat via, let's say, a bank transfer, and you can do that as well. So if you come onto here, you can go ahead and I can deposit GBP. So in my case, I'm in the UK, for example, I can go ahead and deposit GBP. Or if I'm in uh, uh, US, I can go ahead and uh, you can deposit USD as well. Simple. You can go, uh, you just click on which currency you want. You can choose the amount and then you can go ahead and choose it. Okay. So it'll give you a wire transfer options. It will give you bank account details and then you want to enter those bank account details to transfer your fiat currency into uh, into Bybit. Now there are some other methods as well. You can deposit crypto directly. So let's say you got another exchange. Let's say you got a Binance account or a Mexi account or something else. And if you guys want a tutorial of those as well, we can do those for you. You can go ahead and you can choose which coin do you want to deposit. So you can head over here, you can say, okay, I want to deposit some USDT. And you click on USDT, you choose which chain, Okay, so do you want to do it on Ethereum, which is ERC20? 
Okay, generally very secure and reliable, a little bit more expensive in gas fees, or TRC20, which I like, which is uh, Tron. And what that will do then is that will then give me a Tron address, which I can use to withdraw from my other exchange. Okay, so very easy. That's just going from crypto from one exchange to crypto on the other exchange. Now, there's some other options for you as well. You can also click on P2P trading as well, which is where you are interacting with other users to exchange. Okay, so think of it like a, a bartering system or a an exchange. So you can go on here, you can choose who you want to swap with. They'll tell you what price they're going for. Do you want to, are you a buyer or are you a seller? And you can go ahead and transact with them. So lots of different ways for you to get fiat currency on or to get crypto on. Really, really straightforward, really, really easy. Okay, so now we need to go through the different types of Bybit accounts. If you hover over assets in the top right corner, you'll get an overview of how, many, how much assets you hold on the system. But also you'll notice a few different accounts. You'll notice funding account, spot account and derivatives account and usdc derivatives the main ones you're going to be using probably are funding spot and derivatives so funding account is the account you use to fund so if you've just done what we've just said to move some fee out or some crypto onto the system you'll find that crypto in your funding account now you may want to quickly transfer some of that between your accounts and you can do that very easily you go into the system you click on your funding account and you click on here, which is transfer. So if you click on transfer, now you get an option to easily go from, let's say, funding into spot or vice versa. And this doesn't cost you any money, okay? You can easily just transfer from funding to spot and vice versa. And you're going to want to do that if you want to trade, right? Because when we come onto it now, if you want to trade some spot crypto, you need it in your spot account. If you want to trade some derivatives, you need it in your derivatives account. So just move it around as internal transfers. Think of those as your different accounts and you can see them on your left hand side as well here at any given time if you want to see an overview of all the crypto you have across all your accounts just click on overview here and that will then give you your overview across all your accounts okay so the next question would be how do i withdraw crypto from bybit well same thing you come here into your assets and you're going to want to click withdraw Okay, click withdraw, and now you're going to get your options for withdrawing. Which coin do you want to withdraw? Where do you want to withdraw it to? For example, do you want to send it on chain, which is using the blockchain? Or do you want to send it to another Bybit user? And that's another useful feature. If you're sending it to another Bybit user, you can enter their email, their mobile, or even their UID, which is their unique Bybit number, and it will send it to them with no fees. Super useful. So, on-chain withdrawal, again, you need to enter the crypto wallet address. You need to choose, is it on Ethereum, is it Tron, etc. And which account do you want to send it from? Do you want to send it from your spot account? Do you want to send it from your funding account? And then you go ahead and send it. Super straightforward, super is easy to withdraw crypto from Bybit. Okay, so now let's get involved with the market. So let's head up to the top. Click on Markets tab, and now what you're going to see is you're going to see a good kind of visual representation for the market. So some of you might use, for example, CoinMarketCap or some of those kind of platforms. This is another good option to keep open on your tabs, right? Just to see how is the market right now. So you can see a market sentiment. For example, 49% of the market is long right now versus 51% uh, short. So we're kind of in a neutral sentiment right now. We're not super bullish. We're not super bearish. You can see the kind of gas prices for Ethereum, the trading volume. You can see kind of which sectors are trending you can see which cryptos are the top gainers etc pretty useful and then very quickly you can trade it from here so if you're seeing something you like and you want to trade it you want to get some go ahead and click trade and that's going to take you straight into the trading platform which i'll show you shortly similarly for the ecosystem let's say i want to look at just the ethereum ecosystem just click ethereum ecosystem tab here now i'm seeing everything to do with ethereum right mantle ethereum optimism which is a layer two arbitrum's a layer two matic etc you can see all the ethereum ecosystem plays all all in one go. Pretty useful feature here on Bybit. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and actually start trading. So hover over trade here and you're going to see a couple of options here. Okay, so you've got spot trading, which we're going to come on to shortly. You've got convert. You've got a trading bot, which is kind of beyond the scope of this video. If you want a video of me showing you how to use the Bybit trading bot, that'll be a separate video. Let me know in the comments below and we can get that spun up for you. Um, but let's start off with convert. This is like your most basic. Let's say you're not an advanced user whatsoever. You just want to convert some crypto come here and do it here, right? It might cost you a little bit more, but it's okay. Just come here, it's super easy, gonna, gonna be easy for you to use. So go here, I wanna swap Bitcoin to Ethereum. Okay, how many Bitcoin do you wanna swap? And how many? it will tell you how many Ethereum you're gonna receive. It will tell you the fee at the bottom. Press get to quote and then confirm it. You're done, it will reflect that in your asset account and you're good to go not complicated whatsoever so if you're just a really long-term investor you don't trade the market you don't care for what i'm going to go into next 
you can just do it as quickly as that. It doesn't need to be complicated. But now let's say you want to, you want a little bit more kind of involvement in the market, go ahead and click on spot trading okay so you click on spot trading and now you get met with the typical cryptocurrency charts which you're probably familiar with now what are we looking at here well on the left hand side you've got your chart which i'll come into shortly this is known as your order book on the right hand side so the ones in the red these are your sell orders coming through so in real time you'll see this trading tick 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 and it's showing you who wants to sell bitcoin and how much Bitcoin do they want to sell? So let's take a look at this example. This person here, whoever it is, wants to sell this much Bitcoin, 0.0001166 at this price. And then these people at the bottom in the green, they want to buy Bitcoin. So all the market is doing, when we hear about market makers or Bybit in this case, they're matching up the buyers with the sellers. If you want to sell Bitcoin at 0.01 and I want to sell Bitcoin at 0.01, the system will match us at the appropriate price and it will execute the order. That is how markets work. And that is exactly how you get all of these candles on the chart. It's just the average of all the buys and sells. Really, really straightforward. So when you now come into this chart, straight away, you've got a few options. You've got standard. OK, so I can choose standard chart, which is Bybit's kind of standard chart. As you can see, I like to use TradingView. TradingView is the best charting platform out there. So the fact that they're integrated with Bybit is a huge win. I hate using exchanges which are not integrated with TradingView because TradingView is so much more advanced in terms of the indicators, in terms of all the things you're able to do, in terms of all these things you can see, moving averages, etc. And again, that's beyond the scope of this video, but I've got plenty of videos going into this stuff, as well as my TA course, which teaches you all these indicators. You just crypto.com forward slash TA. The link will be in the description for that as well. So simply here, hover over here, choose which crypto do you want to look at. So we're looking at Bitcoin forward slash USDT. So that's Bitcoin's price denominated in US dollar. So it's 64,309 currently at the time of recording US dollars to buy one Bitcoin. And again, you can choose whichever pair you want to trade by hovering over here and choosing whichever pair that is. OK, got it. Now, on the right hand side, you'll notice the main important panel, which I want to show you. So this panel here on the right hand side is your buy and sell panel. So you've got buy, OK, and you've got sell. So if you're a seller, click on sell, you'll see everything will go red. If you're a buyer, click on buy, everything will go green. Super easy. Now, there's a couple of different order types. Again, I'm going to make a separate video on this. I'll link it up if it's made already by the time you're seeing this video. But I will do a video breaking down limit orders versus market orders, how to set your take profits, how to set your stop losses. It's very important that you know how to do this if you want to trade. And I will get that spun up as a separate video, I promise. So when you come into here, you can choose how much Bitcoin you want to buy. You can choose the quantity and what price. And you can go ahead and place the buy order. Same for the sell order. Now, there are a bit more nuances, but again, I'll explain that in that video of how to do that exactly. Super easy. OK, so that's your spot trading. But remember, spot trading is different from derivatives. Derivative trading, which I'm going to show you shortly, is what allows people to take leverage. You've probably heard leverage, right? I don't like to use leverage, but many people use leverage. And what leverage allows you to do is if Bitcoin is moving, let's say, 2%, I can take out a trade on five times the volatility of Bitcoin or 10 times the volatility of Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin moves 2% and I'm trading on 10x leverage, it's as if it moved 20% for me, right? But equally, the risk is to the downside. If it falls 2%, it's like it's fallen 20% for you as well. So it's very important to understand that there's leverage in this system as well, which you can use through derivatives. Now, please note, if you are trading derivatives, you do not, if you're using this section here, derivatives, you do not own the underlying value. Very important. You do not own the underlying crypto. OK, so you are trading a piece of paper that represents some ownership of crypto, not the actual crypto. You don't own Bitcoin. You cannot move it to a cold wallet. You cannot move it to a MetaMask or a Trezor. Very important. A lot of people misunderstand this. This is only useful for those people who want to trade. And again, I'm not going to go into details of how to trade derivatives right now. The video will become way too long, but you have options here. Cross, 
isolated okay so these are your in terms of your liquidation preferences you can choose do i want to go 1x do i want to go 3x 5x 100x again i don't like to trade leverage hugely risky and if you don't know what you're doing you can get wrecked in this section this is for super advanced users to come into derivatives and trade derivatives now if you are somebody that trades derivatives you need to understand what the funding rate is that's this important number here this funding rate gets calculated in real time every eight hours remember if the funding rate is positive that means long position holders will have to pay the people that are short if the funding rate is negative right that's when the short positions would have to pay the longs so the other way to think about it is if this number is negative shorts are getting wrecked if this number is positive then uh, longs are getting wrecked okay easy to kind of think about it from that perspective but you need to understand funding rate if you're trading leverage on Bybit. Now, if you go to the top and click on copy trading, there's also this section here where you can copy other experienced traders. Again, risky, be careful. And this probably needs a separate video for me to show you guys how to use this, but you can follow other traders in real time as well. So you can copy their trades. Okay. So that's an option for you guys to look at too. There's also the trading bots, which again, we got to break down another video. These are very, very complex bots, which can trade for you. They can dollar cost average for you and they can do back testing as well. So again, I'll break this all down in a separate video. Now, the next section I wanna go into is finance. So if you hover over finance, if you click on earn, you now get your earn section, which is where you can go ahead and earn money on the crypto, which is sat in your account. So for example, you can go ahead and you can stake your USDT in a fixed or flexible way, same for your Bitcoin, and you can earn a different APR, okay? So you can go here, you can say flexible, say savings you're going to make eight percent on your usd and you can take it out anytime if you want to do it for a fixed term you can earn a hundred percent but it's fixed for a day if you want to put in a funding pool this is the rate you're going to get etc etc okay so you can you can do that through here this is an option for you to earn on the crypto you already hold the other really useful thing with bybit is you can actually get your own little card as well so you can go ahead and click on bybit card you can apply for a card which takes literally minutes and you can then suddenly start to spend your crypto globally i literally just tap it at a card machine like you do with your normal bank card no fuss and you can spend from your crypto uh using your bank card super useful definitely check it out really easy to get as well so go ahead and get yourself set up with a bybit card also so there you have it guys there is a quick whirlwind tour of bybit how to get it set up how to get yourself familiar with all the different pages i know it can be overwhelming if you're new to crypto and somebody has told you oh look go get yourself set up on an exchange it sounds simple but if you haven't done it before it can be quite overwhelming so hopefully this video has served that purpose to help walk you through all the key sections now if you want a detailed breakdown into any of those specific sections look out for other videos which i will be working on and uploading to get into the nitty gritty how to do the take profits how to do the stop losses how to apply for the binance card right how to uh, use the trading bot how to use bybit earn we'll do separate videos on each of those sections so you know exactly how to do it and get started hopefully you found this useful if you did smash the likes share it with somebody who's new to crypto as well and i'll see you in the next one